The people of the corridor, they live in the east. That's what old Drax said. Could he be talking about the Bakulani people? Triple question mark? That means he's like super curious. <laughs> the Bakulani? They have a tiny village in the desert far to the east. And I did hear about a guardian around there. Ha! <laughs> we can fly. Fuck all that nonsense. It don't matter what far it is. I'll race you again. Alright, so we now have an orb. Am I going to show you how it works? Why the hell not? I'll use it on them. So yeah, you see that in the upper right hand... Blah, blah. The Guardian Orbs allow you to use Orb Commands in battle. Once you use it, you have to refill it. In other words, kill lots of shit until everything's dead. Let's show you how Drax works. Now the thing about Drax Orb is, it gets stronger when you get stronger. And it, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, so when your levels go up, I guess you could say it gets stronger. Look at that. Uh, 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 you guys are dead. Fuck out my face. This thing works especially good with, um, verse enemies. No, I'm not gonna fight them now. We're just gonna get on out of here, because I'm up to an hour and 20 minutes, and I need to try and fit this last little piece of in. Piece of in, piece in. So that you're all not confused as hell <laughs> when, um, I go do my little grinding. Because I am gonna do some grinding. Not a lot, just some. Because, well, as you can see, I don't feel like going through all that shit where I'm constantly close to dying all the time. <laughs> and fuck off. So now we go to Te East, to the Bakulani people. I don't know what the. I'll tell you this it's a desert. That's all I'm gonna say. So you can expect very scantily clad people, and not scantily clad people. It's a tiny cinema in the middle of the desert, you should be able to spot it when you're up in the sky. Shouldn't be any hard. Shouldn't be hard. The hell. Oh, something I did not say, is that when you're in your plane, we No, there are no barrel rolls. Shame, right? That 180, or that flip though, anyway. So, where we are going is right there. Tents of various sizes cluster around an oasis to form the Baculus Settlement. Whoa. What the hell is that? What is that? Huh. Alright then. Oh no, I think that's the desert now that I think about it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's so adorable. And land. It's a chibi town. I will say the music here kind of gets annoying after a while. <laughs> Nothing but sun and sand, no matter which way we go. Indeed. If there were people, the corridor lived, then let's go. Ugh, but yeah, this place. Uh, also, I, th I don't think you can leave now until a certain something happens. Hello, little child. Who be that you be looking at and praying to? Ah, you want to make an offer of prayer to Yote too? Who the hell is a Yote? Yote's our guardian. Aha! He's been protecting. Uh, let me guess. He's a fucking goat. <gasps> How did I guess? He's been protecting us a really long time. This is a statue of a guardian. This one doesn't seem as powerful as old Drac. <laughs> but Yote grew up guards the entire mainland, so you make so that makes him the most powerful. <laughs> Bullshit. I think Griff still takes that place, don't you? So yeah, this is a desert, and it's all hot and stuff. But I don't have time to dawdle. I have time for cutscenes, though, because we all have time for cutscenes. doing this what is the point <laughs> what are you talking about Ruilia you know we have to keep the shrine in good order the communicator could come at any moment no one is coming huh? It's been two years. 
We can't just sit around waiting. We have to do something or nothing is ever going to change. <sighs> yes, but the Chief told us to wait right here. The Chief isn't always right. She's human. She can make mistakes or do things for her own selfish reasons. That's enough, Ruilia. Conspirator. You mustn't be so hard on her. After all, she's your only sister, right? <sighs> Let's go. They all just sigh like, ugh, get a life, bitch. Donna. You've got to snap out of this. Just forget about him. Please. Okay, so the chief's name is Donna, and that was her sister, Ruilia. Also, damn! <laughs> Did you see that chest, though? Some type of tribal dispute, maybe? Mm, not sure about that. Let's just focus on finding the chief. You are right. I ain't got time for that. Ain't got time for that chick. That chief? No, that's not chief. That's you. Hell, you looking at? But yeah, um. Also, Ruilia, that was not close. <laughs> I don't care how hot it is, that is not close. <laughs> anyway, let's go see the chief so she can tell us about stuff and we can tell her about stuff and stuff and junk. And she got candles. It's already sexy. Oh, and it's dark too? Even sexier. Honored communicator, I'd like to welcome you to our village. I am the chief of the Bakulani people. My name is Donna. Damn! That chest, though! It was my spirit cards that told me of your impending arrival. Of course she's a fortune teller. Chief Donna, I'm sorry. We have all traveled a long way to meet your guardian. Yes, I'm aware of that. Finally, we'll hear... The voice of Yote the Magnificent. But first... But first... There's something you should know. Something... Terrible has happened in Arkriff. It's been destroyed. And Griff is dead. Uh, no. Griff is the leader of all the Guardians. How could she be dead? What was their significance in that robe? Also, Griff said, well, her last words were, believe in love. Love? Still don't make sense. I think I understand what she means. No matter what happens, if you believe in the power of love, there will always be hope for the future. Friendship. Think that's true. Uh -huh. Titties, though. Love can only bring sadness. Uh, uh. I'm sorry. I just cannot accept what you're saying. Please, be on your way now. Excuse me? Hey! Please wait! Donna! Go now. Well, somebody's hit her time of the month. All we said was love, and all of a sudden she's like, "What? Love? Get that shit out of here!" Can I? Can I at least see your chest one more time? I have no interest in what you have to say. Fuck off. All right then. Be that way. Oh my god, that chest though. Oh. All right then. Man, what's her deal? First she says, welcome to our village, then she tells us to get out. More or less. I can't go back to Arkriff. <laughs> well shit, there ain't nothing left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. 
We're in this for the long haul. Let's go find a place to stay. Indeed, Yuki, indeed. Oh my god, a cow mood. It's so adorable. I want to pen it, but it might spit in my face, so never mind. Excuse me, little girl who keeps turning every time I walk past her. What the hell? Am I just that sexy? Jeez. Ooh. I want to go there. What's this all about? Bam. Looks like the cat's cradle. Looks like cat's cradle? The hell's that? But this is no kid's game. I smell something fishy, like magic. Yes, as if we're being told to stay away. But that's the first time I've heard of magic that smells like fish. Really, Alfina? Anyway. Um, alright, almost there. I'm at like 1.30. We need to hustle. So yeah, as you can see, this is the machine that lets me make eggs and mix them and match them and stuff. I'm not going to be doing that to show, I'm not going to be showing y'all, but I'm going to be doing all that off screen, but I'll show you the results. Well, you'll see the results when I start kicking ass. Finally, that music, man. That music. <laughs> You're fucking just ugh, my ears they sizzle. <laughs> Alright, you Welcome to the Desert Inn. People rarely come to our lonely settlement here. It's cause you're in a damn desert. But we've got great food. Word? We're known for our kebabs. Or is it kebabs? I think it's kebabs. Juicy meat roasted carefully on a rotis I love kebabs, man. You can hear the juices pop and sizzle as they drip into the fire. And that savory smell is to die. I'm hungry as fuck right now. Oh, yeah. Whatever those are, I gotta get me some. We can't go back until we meet that guardian, right? So let's stay here and eat these people out of a inn. <laughs> Not a home. Yeah, I want some kebabs. Music to my ears. Well, then let's eat some meat. I'm not gonna say no homo. You were the one who thought it. Oh yes, so these are kebabs. Kebab fuck it, I'm just gonna say kebabs. Those juices are sizzling and that savory smell is just like the lady was saying. Alright, I'm about to kill this son. Aw oh, dude, take it easy, old leave us a little too, will you? Don't be a bitch. This is a free for all. You better eat up before I eat it. Why didn't why did Donna treat us like that all of a sudden? Did I say something wrong? When you shared Griff's message, she just got mad and said, Love only brings sadness. <laughs> if Donna truly believes that, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> Bullshit. We can hold her down, or tie her up, and make her take us to the damn Guardian. I could I could deal with that. Mm, these are great, it's hopeless, the saliva is flowing and I'm hooked, yo! We need to calm down with that, cuz. Why do you think Donna would say something like that? I love how Alfina and Yuki are talking about what's wrong and Ulf is just like, Fuck that shit, I'm hungry. She must have had a bitter experience. Something that we could never understand. Mm, it don't look like we'll, she'll be seeing us anytime soon. I guess it's in for the long haul, even though I said that already. Donna must have had a terrible experience. Something that I could never imagine. Oh my god, would you two cheer up? You gotta try some of these kebabs. Kebab, fuck. 